All right, here I have an Alpha FB that is in kind of poor shape um, while gutting this one time. Um, not all the chambers are populated and a driver popped into the wrong chamber uh, and it was rotated and all kinds of stuff. So I couldn't even push on the on the pins to try to pick it. So I had to take it apart. You can see this, this key's a little cut down to, I'll show you after when I'm taking apart all the things I had to do to, to get that back together. But um, in any case, this lock has, I think, like 20 or 21 chambers or something like that. And in this particular one, there's 12 um, pins populated. There's three on the bottom left, three on the bottom right, three top left, three top right. So 12 pins. In the back, there's a little interactive element on this key, a little ball bearing. And what's interesting, it, it, it looks like the top left and the bottom right pins um, play off each other on this on this ball bearing. So anyways, um, to pick it, I have this tensioner we've seen before. It's two Z-bars sandwiched together to just to hold it together to fill up the whole keyway. And then the uh, this wiper insert I have in here, sometimes I put it in, sometimes I don't. Um, it's just to give me extra height if I need it. And so in this case, I'm getting a little extra height to get the, the picks up closer to the pins. Um, the picks, I'm gonna use the Elite, a Multi-Pick Elite G Pro number one and number nine. They're two of these curved flags. Uh, and when I pick, I, I push the pins with the outer side of the flag. Um, so I'll use this one to go to the right and this one to go to the left. So we'll go ahead and put some tension on here. And um, when I pick it, I'll, I'll feel for jiggle. Like this first one here is jiggling a little bit, but it, it's so little that it takes a lot of time to do that. So I've picked this a few times before, so I'm gonna use a lot of memory on picking this just to speed it up. But otherwise you'd be like, is that jiggling? Is that jiggling? Yeah, it is. Then you go to the second one, you'd be like, is that jiggling? No, that one's a binder. So I'll go ahead and click it. There we go, and now it's jiggling. And that will just take a long time normally. Um, all right, this top second one actually is binding, but I'm having a hard time getting the pick on it. There we go. And the Let's see, where am I? First one, bottom left. And second one, bottom left. And third one, bottom left. Just give me a counter rotation. Oh, I think I almost set it and then it dropped it back down again. There, I got a little click out of that bottom left one. I think that's um, good for the left side. The right side, let's see. The top right one here is just springy. The uh, bottom right one is binding. Bottom right two is binding. Uh, bottom right three is just like springy. Let's see, top right three seems to be binding. Let's see if I can get on it. A little bit difficult. There we got click out of that. A little bit of plug rotation out of it. Bottom right three is still springy. Top right one now seems to be binding before it was springy. Let's see if I can get on that. These picks are a little short for the top one, so it's a little bit trickier. Come on. Is it I can't see down the keyway if that's jiggling or not, that top right one. It feels like it's binding, but it's hard to tell without being able to see it. Trying to turn it. It's giving me some counter rotation. There we go. Top right one's set. Let's see if I feel anything. Maybe that third one, bottom right. Can I get back there? Oh yeah, I think it's, it's, I think it's binding the third right one. Making it hard to get onto it. Give me some counter rotation as I push on it, but then I, I slip off the back of it. Yeah, it's hard to, let's, let's check the left side. It's, um, there's something on the left side also blocking me from getting on that. So let's see if I can clear that out a little. It seems like it's the third one bottom left. It's hard because the bottom right one's getting in the way. So let's try to set that one. Giving me a little counter rotation as I push on it. Just can't stay on it. 
There we go. Got that bottom left three set. Let's go bottom right number three again here. Now that that bottom left is out the way. Yeah, now I can get on the bottom right three. It's giving me a lot of counter rotation here. All right, that's set. Uh, let's see what's still holding us up. This bottom right number one seems like but it's not really giving me counter rotation when I push on it. Number two is not really giving me counter rotation. Number three. Oh, three is giving me counter rotation still. So even though I think I just said it, it's still giving me a lot of counter rotation. What's going on with that? Can it go further somehow? I don't seem to be able to. Like I lifted all the way to the wall. And this is, uh, I think this is one of the intera interactive ones. I seem to lift it all the way to the wall. So I gotta get the pick just lined up just right. There we go. So that the pick can actually go into the wall a little bit. And it's open. So, hmm, gutting this one. Well, let's see. Hopefully we can gut it without the same chaos I had before. And you see the front kind of popped up. That's part of the, uh, the whole repair work that got done. So, let's take a look. Autofocus going. Get a couple of trees out because we're gonna have um, we're gonna have four rows. So let's see this uh, this guy here. You can see I drilled a hole in the sides here, and what that does is allow me to take this faceplate off. And once I got this faceplate off, I was able to then slide these uh, the cover off that I needed to slide off, which was this this one here. You can see I ground off the back so that the cover can slide out, whereas these ones are they're closed off so they can't slide them out. So I was able to slide that one out a little bit and I was able to recover the pin I needed to. But the normal normal gutting process here is you take this C clip out of here. And you gotta turn it just right when you're gutting because not all the chambers are populated. So you can see there's another C clip down there, which I bet I can't get I can't get to right now without modifying the C clip pliers a little. I forgot that it has this second pin here. So what we gotta do is grab the little Allen key from here and adjust the length of these a little bit. They're not supposed to be longer like this, but you can adjust it longer like that. And then it's gonna make it kind of flimsy. The, the whole thing's gonna to wanna to torque, so it's probably not good for the tool, but it allows you to do a little bit. So I wanna get those lined up just like that. And then we'll tighten it down. And then we'll switch it again to squeezing mode. Now we should be able to get down on there. Oh, not squeezing mode. Spreading mode. Okay, so we've got that spread. And then we gotta get it off somehow. Come on. Alright, so it got part way off. So we can get it the rest of the way off. There we go. Got that second C clip off. Alright. So now that we got that off, we need some we need a follower. So I've printed a pair of followers. Uh, one is for gutting, one's for repinning. So the gut version, I can um, follow it and then I can drop an entire row out at a time if I want to. Uh, the pinning version, I have this where I can just, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little slot there. It's a short slot. I can populate a pin, rotate it, and use it to populate the better. I'm actually going to use a short one because um, I don't want to remove the entire row at a time and the short one will be more um, manageable. Actually, this is not even... the. So this is for a different type of LFB that has a cross. This one only has a plus sign. So I'm going to actually use the long one because the long one is the right shape. I didn't even notice that. So that's going to fit right there and that's going to block all the holes. It's got a little gouge here for fitting the key, I think, or no, it's just a straight up cross shape that fills all those holes. Now, I know that the pins from looking at these uh, Bible covers, they're here, 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 and here. So I'm gonna 
have to think about that when I figure out which way I want to rotate this guy. So I'm going to want to rotate them. If I wrote them 180, then that's not going to work. So it's want to rotate maybe about less than ugh, less than it is to get this to here, right? You don't want this going there. So you got to get just that in between amount, um, kind of like this, and and then pray that you can. So I'm going to put it up and down, and then I'm going to push it out quickly. Sorry, I pushed that all the way out. And now we got to, I dropped one key pin there, two key pins there. That's not too big a deal. I'm going to just, see that's fit really well in there, so it's hard to pull that off. Usually what you want to do, and I forgot to do it this time, is use just one key so you don't have all these keys dangling everywhere. All right, what did I lose? All right, so the right side, bottom right, you can see there's only uh, one in four not populated. Let's see if we can pull this key out of here, out the way. Okay. So uh, bottom right, we'll put down here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So there's key pin number five, three, and two. Then on the top right, we got four, two, and one. Then on the top left, we got five. So that's top left over here. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we got three. And we got two. Then on the bottom left, those are where two fell out. We got number four here. Okay. And then the two that fell out are on one and two. So figure out which one's which. We'll put the key in here. And I can actually see, like, I, couldn't, I can't figure out all these cuts where they go, but if I look in here, I can see there is a, um, a cut on one, two, and four. So that tells me that those are where the pins go. And then I'll just drop a pin in that looks like it works, but I'll drop it in one just to make sure. One, it's too short. So that's definitely pin number two. And then pin number one fell right where it's supposed to go. Um, each of these chambers here is... nothing special there is a hmm I, mean, I feels like a counter mill I can't tell if that's just a drop down no it's just a drop down so it's like a it's like an over mill on the chamber there I can't say that really did anything that, that over mill. I don't think I felt myself picking any chambers twice. So there's that. Okay, now for the key pins, starting at the back, we need to find ourselves a pair of tweezers. All right, so I marked that this is the right side and this is the left side because it's backwards just to remind myself. And then you can turn this to face whichever way to grab the pins and I could grab a whole, like I could face it towards the right side and I could go straight down and grab all those right side ones. So let's, let's do that for the right side anyways, just to show it off. So there's the right side number one. Oops, is like a, um, is like a, a tapered spool, right? It tapers down and then it's a spool, right? Mushroom spool, I guess. Um, that's the bottom right. So I'll put that there, number five. the spring and then I got push that back there's number three also one of those tapered mushrooms and a copper colored spring and there's number one another one of those like mushroom spools and a silver spring all right then I can go to the top right and repeat the process. So there's one on four on the top right, so it's gonna be back a bit. There we go. Dump it over here. 
another one of those mushroom spools and a silver spring or no like a well that fell on the floor let's see if i can find that really quick if not we'll get it later it was like kind of a off color spring uh, i'm not finding it i'll find it later not needed for this video but it fell just to my left so that shouldn't be too bad I'm trying to get up to pin two here there's pin two dump it out another one of those and it looks like a copper color spring and then number one there's number one copper color spring and there's the pin and so it seems like everything in here is uh, so far has been one of those um, mushroom spool things all right top left pin five mushroom spool guy and uh, copper color spring Then pin number two, another one of those, and come on, copper color spring, and pin one, another one of those, and a copper color spring. All right, um, bottom left, I can do traditional way, and this might illustrate the direction that the mushrooms are installed in. So five is empty. Four. Here comes the mushroom with the spool side facing towards the key pin. And that's how you want them all installed. Otherwise, they are, would act pretty boring. You wouldn't, you wouldn't experience them at all. You wouldn't get the counter rotation and all that good stuff. Two. There's the pin two. And pin one fell out as well. All right, so two and one. Let's see if I can get their springs out. Hmm. they? Where are the springs? They're both stuck up in there. There we go. There's one of them. That's spring number two. It's a silver spring. And spring number. One doesn't want to come out. This must be the like the drill chamber or something. Let's see. Doesn't want to come out. Eh. It's probably stuck under this this plate here somehow. Uh, it's not the one that got slid off or anything like that. But it seems to be stuck between the maybe. It's stuck between the plate and the um, and the and the and the core, so that's probably never come out before. I'm gonna try one more. Maybe try to get it out, but I don't want to stretch it out if it's really pinched between that plate. I oh, don't. No, there we go. Silver spring. All right. Well, take a look at the pins in a second. What I wanted to talk about is um, so that plug was stuck in there, and I think the plug was stuck like like this or something. And it was just not coming out. So to slide that off, I wanted to get the front. So I drilled the two holes in there, and then I pulled this off. But the thing is, the key was, oh, that's the problem. The, I couldn't do any picking because the key was in there, right? So this thing was stuck in here like this with the key in there. So I couldn't pick anything, and it was stuck sideways. Um, and no amount of like shimming and banging it helped. Uh, because I think it was a, a driver in a key pinless chamber, right? So you have to get it to go really far. Um, so I, I got this off, this front plate off. But then with that off, it gets stuck on the bow of the key. So I had to mill down the edges of the key so I could take this all the way off. And once I got that off, I was able to then mill the channel into the back, slide that off, and get it back all working. But now it's uh, pretty ugly. I guess I could, I could put some screws here, but the problem is it goes right to the chamber there. So um, it works, you know, it's just kind of ugly. Just only up here, everything else is fine. And the, the brass, you know, the plate covers are a little bit damaged, but it doesn't let the spring come out. So 
it, it, it works fine. Those two are damaged from drilling here. Um, you know, you could replace the plate covers with fresh plate covers, but it doesn't matter. They're, they're fine. And the, the biggest deal is that this is kind of loose. So you could glue that on or, or something. Um, anyways, these pins we have here. We have... Um, so all, all the mushroom spool drivers. And the problem with picking these uh, key pins is that you see how they have this lip up top? They have this lip on the top, so if you push on it and you overset it, you'll get here and it'll drop into this area and you can keep picking the rest of it, but then this one isn't, you know, even if you push further, you're going to hit this thing. And I don't think you can go any further than that, but if you could, you'd drop down into this area. And yeah, the oversets are, are pretty deadly with these, um, with these thin lips on the top. And I'm not sure if all of them have it, but most of them, if not all, let's see, has it. Yeah, all, all of them seem to have that thin lip on the top. So if you overset any of them, um, then you're kind of hosed, right? So that makes it pretty tough, um, pretty tough lock to pick. That is the uh, Alpha FB. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.